Hey there, I'm going to walk you through the experience of Simu's Runestone Keeper, which is a turn-based roguelike dungeon crawler. Uh, what you're looking at here is the pre-production build for iOS that's going to show you uh, the experience of acquiring in-game NFT-based heroes and the onboarding of that player uh, to having a cryptographic wallet since they don't have one. So what you see here are the heroes that are available for purchase in the game. And you'll notice they have NFT badges underneath them because these are indeed NFTs that can be acquired. And I'll just pause for a minute. It says heroes and runestone keeper are unique digital assets. That means you can actually own your hero and you can trade it or sell it if you desire. There is a limited supply of each hero and each hero has unique stats. The odds of receiving any specific hero out of the available supply are equal. You can view your hero and wallet in a web browser by logging in at play.ready.gg. So the player here uh, is going to want to acquire one of these heroes. I should say that there is a free version where you can play with a basic hero that is given to every player. So in this case, the player does want to acquire an additional hero. But look, they don't have a wallet. So let me just pause for a minute. It says heroes in Runestone Keeper are unique, etc. And then it says to create a wallet. We cannot recover your password for you if it is lost. This is a non-custodial wallet. The player is entering their passphrase. And this is the migration from essentially a Web 2 player to becoming a Web 2, uh, Web 3 player. So the transaction is processing on the blockchain. Uh, and in a few moments, it'll terminate. And this player will now essentially be an on-chain identity. Their wallet is their on-chain identity. Uh, and they're now a ready GG player. I'm able to use that same identity in multiple games across publishers. So here we are back at the purchasing moment. Which hero will this player decide to acquire? Savafa seems to be the one that they're interested in. Um, and so when you buy this hero, you'll be using your Web2 virtual currency to do that. You're not going to be using a token to do this. Why a Web2 virtual currency? Because that's what's going to bring it in compliance with the app stores. That virtual currency was bought for fiat, and you'll see in a moment... Uh, the virtual currency uh, acquisition path, which is right here. Those are fiat numbers. And so uh, this player has 720 gold coins. That's sufficient coinage to exchange that coinage for the NFT. Uh, and so in this case, they've acquired Savafa. Uh, and so now they can start doing their turn-based play using uh, their new hero, which is an NFT. And so now we're actually entering the game experience where uh, the player begins to play. It should be noted that this ready identity they created is portable across games in a different game uh, when they register to log in. If it already detects that they've created a wallet in a different game with ready, they won't have to do it again. So uh, that's just a quick tour of the experience of you know buying an in-game NFT and um, creating an identity in Web3 seamlessly. Uh, thanks for watching.